right, guys, welcome back to Wishlist Plant Wednesdays. Okay. Now, on today's episode, we are going over our second plant on the list. Now, um, if you haven't seen last week's episode, pause this one, go and check it out, guys. So, um, quick update here. What we're going to do, guys, is basically each week I'm going over my wish list plants. Um, I have that many um, to cover, guys, a whole year and a half, maybe. I don't know. Um, but as time goes on, I'm going to try my best to cross these numbers or plants off that list and hopefully they will be in my collection and you guys will be able to share the joy with me um i chose this plant because of last week's plant um she's in that same family and i wanted to go ahead and just complete the family on out and i think it was only maybe two or three and you know i mentioned two of them last week which were the monstera um, Thai Constellation and the variegated, I think the Albo Monstera as well. So, um, as you know, Monstera, then of course, you know, more than, well, there are a couple of more Monsteras, but um, at least you do know now it's a Monstera. So, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, guys. So on the list we have for today is the famous Monstera Peru. Now this Monstera Peru, you guys, I've had on my radar for a long time. Um, I think some of you guys um, and even some other tubers have found this plant on their, um, or in their city, um, like at some nurseries or even some um, box stores, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, again, I'm down here in the south, so we really don't have any of those good choosings or um, anything of that such to pick from. So finding her for me personally, as in like going out and finding her, will be um, almost impossible just because of, I guess, the area that I'm in. Now, mind you that they could have them up in the capital, which is Atlanta, but... Even if then, you guys, um, they are still somewhat, um, I would say, popular. But um, even then, I would have to talk to someone or someone who works there, like a manager or something, to ask them to like hold it for me. Just because you go to some of these places and um, the lines are just out the door. And that's either because they're crowded or um you know the whole covid situation so um yeah it's, it's been very very stressful trying to find one just going out you know and then just enjoying the ride trying to find certain plants but just going out and finding them again guys would be just impossible for me like needle in a haystack kind of thing and um if i would have found it um, I can guarantee you it would be just like, again, the look of the draw for me because um, it's usually when I find things of this sort of nature, it's like, well, drive, drive, drive. Oh, there's a plant place. I cannot believe um, I did not see this. Hmm, let me just turn around and check. I'm already on the way home. It wouldn't do any harm. And then, you know, walk through, oh my, oh my, look what I just stumbled upon. So, you okay. know, um, I wouldn't say that it's impossible, but again, there's the needle in the haystack. But anyway, you guys, I've had the um, the pleasure to actually send one up close um, and in person. Um, there should be a clip that I'm adding in somewhere in here and the one that um, I've seen up person. Now, the texture on these leaves are just like none other um i do know that there are some that have the ridges in them that pronounce kind of like your um i do know some philodendrons like my um philodendron that i always have here you know as a centerpiece or whatever my philodendron um tiger's tooth um this um younger leaf i would say has the deep fenestrations 
in them, um, which are okay, you know, but that Peru, it is more um, pronounced and defined. I'm not saying that, you know, any of the, like I said, the tiger's tooth is not like that, but those Perus are just, when you see them, it's like a folded up, you know, like you do in school and fold up the paper a million times into like hot dog style until you got like this little fan. But yeah, those leaves are, it's giving me that fan kind of wavy sand kind of pattern. And I love those um, plants so much that, you know, I've even um, been searching like on my Facebook groups to try to find a cutting. Now, I've um, out of all of my plants, I can tell you guys, um, once you see them, I'm trying to do a final, uh, finally trying to do a, a grow tent tour. Most of my plants that I have are in a grow tent um, and all the rest. I've even, I think more than likely I've given away or traded because, you know, I will first off need more room for good, th better things. And then some of the things um, like, um, you know, you just don't like or just not your thing anymore. And, um, instead of me just, you know, letting them go waste side, I just give them to someone who can take care of them or, um, you know, trade them off with someone who's looking for one that I know would take care of it. And just, instead of just letting it die. Yeah. And then, um, I feel bad that I could have gave it away instead of, you know, but anyway, um, yeah, this plant here is just wonderful, and I cannot wait till I get her in my position, um, possession. Now, out of um, the four Perus that I know of, that I, I mean, <laughs> Perus. Now, the four um, Monsteros that I know of, um, I actually like. There might be more. I'm not sure. Now, don't quote me on that. Um, there's the Monstera. Peru, the mustard, Sister Pecana, the there are more. There are more. Yeah, they are. Um, I think I may have seen them on Steve Lee's, but the four that made the, well, the three that made the list, um, Ty Constellation, the Albo Monstera, and I just said that the the yeah the Monstera Peru, um, um, and the fourth one that I've seen that I have, you guys, I got from a a note. Um, it came with the, I think it was the painted lady, but anyway, it was a small node. Um, um, long story short, she used the lady that I got the pink, not the crap, the painted lady from, she, um, said that she reused the, there was nothing wrong with it. Um. She reused the spag from her Silta Pecana cuttings. And I think apparently one uh, of her little snippings. I wish I had a, a picture. You know what, you guys? I insert a little picture of my little bitty teeny Silta Pecani. But um, anyway, um, yeah, it was sitting on the top and I didn't know what it was. And I, I emailed her and tried to see what it was before I got rid of it because if it was something like a pathos you know uh, no um nothing wrong with them of course i got one i actually got two yeah i got two um but anyway um long story about that guys i'm gonna veer off of just a smidge you know those um those neon pathos are hard to find here i've been trying to find one out on about two years now and then the one that i did see um I decided to go to a Home Depot in um, a town over, and I don't go to this Home Depot just because of the fact they don't have a good selection of plants. Sometimes they do, but the people that are there just... <sighs> anyway, by the time I got there, you know, plants get picked over, choose over, or just get destroyed by the people there. And it was one left, and it just looked horrible, and I just did not want to buy a plant like that and then I know that they don't do discounts and then someone who don't work don't know the <sighs> if they don't know about plants or anything they're gonna swell up and down it's fine and healthy and blah blah but back on um subject here guys but yeah I try to insert a small picture of my sister Pecana but this Peru um 
Um, even if I can, I've been um, trying to steer away, but again, like 90 to a random odd, 93% of my collection, I did start from nodes. Um, even if they are huge by now, um, I either started it from a small plant or a node cutting. But um, yeah, I would try to steer away from more more nodes. But those nodes work in my favor because I am able to do my famous um, staking process. Um, if you haven't seen that process, guys, pause this video. We're going to go check that out. But um, yeah, if I get nodes for her, it'll be a lot easier for me or even if I get a smaller plant of her. Now, not, not saying that if I get a full plant, I still wouldn't enjoy it, but you know, that'll be the joys of me having to cut her, to cut her back down some and placing her inside of another pot, you know, just so that she'll fit and spend most of her time and root, um, development through her area roots instead of the bottom, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, if I can get her um, like that, that'll be great. Um, I do know for a fact it will be a while before we're able to even think about getting up um, any of those down this way. And I say that because of down here, um, I don't know, for some odd reason, we're just, we get things late. You know, it usually starts with the East Coast I usually start up north like New York and then it probably makes its way to California and then finally down this way. I don't know. It's strange, but um, I don't know if you noticed, but it should be out one of my nursery tour videos, you guys. Um, they finally are supplying us with the Costa Costa Farm collection. And I can tell you it's been over probably like a year or two now that... Um, this collection has finally decided to make its way this way. Again, I don't know if it's the people there that are not paying attention to the what's in plan or what's now plan or what should I buy, you know, to increase my numbers here. Um, it's even the same with some nurseries here. We um, like literally here in the South, which is the heart of Georgia. There aren't any really good nurseries. You will think you would honestly think with this climate, uh, honestly here, that there would be some just spectacular, you know, private owned nurseries, but they're only that I know of, um, like one or two, I mean, two at three, three at the max, two, four, four at the max. And, um, they're all, you know, within the, um, area code region, but spread out within like maybe two or three cities, I think. Um, now those nurseries, like they have good stuff, but not, not any of the rare stuff that they probably do have. Okay. I'll take that back. Not rare, but uh, let's just say hard to find or uncommon, um, plants there. But, um, yeah, even places like that, some of those they don't have, but would more than likely have a better chance at finding them there. Um, but yeah, guys, this is Monster of Peru. I will have eventually in my, um, <laughs> I was going to say in my system and my collection, um, hopefully this year, if not, you know, um, of course I will keep looking, even if again, I have to settle for a couple of, um, a couple of nodes, which I will have to work with and, you know, water propagate is, yeah, that's time consuming. Nothing wrong with it, but you know, hey, once you know, it's just like anyone, they, they, you want a plant, especially you are an enthusiast, you know, you want to get your plant, get it home, pot it, and watch it grow, you know, but there's nothing um, wrong with a few, to, a few more extra steps in that process, especially when it's a plant that you are looking for or want it for a very long time, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that is it. Um, this Monstera, like I said, I will try my best to get my hands on it this year. Again, I'm usually fighting against the highs and the lows on these prices. Um, I have it in my radar, on my radar. Um, it could be like, for example, 12 inch pot for a dollar. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get that, you know, and I come back two days later. 
$1,600, three inch pot. Like what? So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know guys, this fluctuation of prices is just stressful sometimes, but you know, I usually keep my head up and I will continue to search for her and eventually she will make her way home and will find her way on a stake inside of my grow tent and joining the rest of her forever home family members. Um, I will make sure you guys, like I said, once I get my hands on it, just the, the, the best thing or the quickest way is to um, check out my my Instagram guys or my Facebook, um, which the handle should be down below in the description. Um, check those out. And I'm telling you, I will post like once I lay my hands on one and I'm pretty sure, um, the Victorian in Atlanta, I think she has some, I'm not sure. I think I remember seeing some in there, but I do remember, um, seeing some, uh, Maho Ronnie's in there. And as of now, those only the only places close enough that I know that have them that I wouldn't have to pay like some more money plus shipping. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to check there and we're going to hope and pray we can find her or find them on one of my um, plant shopping. Um, I would say plant shopping tours or halls of, of you know, plant nurseries or big box stores. Now, if I come across something like that, you guys, and um, just rest assured that I, I'm pretty sure that I got it, especially if it's on that wish list of mine. I Oh, you guys, I did see um, a uh, another YouTuber on here. I, for, I honestly forgot her name. I just started watching her, but um, she's in, I think, North Carolina. It's not um, Anita Ashley, but it's another... Um, Another young lady, but anyway, she found some just, oh my, 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 um, some awesome plants. Even speaking of Anita Ashley, she found some awesome plants. I think her video was put out today. You guys go over and check that out. Um, yeah, they had some nice mature plants for like cheap. And I mean like cheap and hmm. yeah, but anyway, um, the joys of being in the South and she's and they're like what a state or two above us. Yeah, you guys, but yeah, guys, today's video, um, is today's episode. I'm sorry. is dedicated to the monster of Peru. Again, we will get our hands on this little girl and we will watch her grow. And even of course, make, um, a couple of videos on the process of getting her into her forever home. And going from there, all right, you guys, I would like to thank you for coming back and supporting our channel and watching um, Plant Wishlist Wednesdays. Please come back for next week's video. Um, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to do. I usually just close my eyes and just pick one. But I did know today I wanted to do that Monstera just to wipe out the little family that I had but um yeah you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe also hit the notification bell the notification bell you guys will keep you in the form as into what all excitement that we are doing over here on this channel um again I have videos coming out every day or if not every other day but they are set for a while this video um is one of the new ones probably as you can see and hear because of the mic I did get a better mic so um, if you hear, like I said, I think maybe in one of my other videos, if you hear, um, the volume has changed then it's, I'm pretty sure it's a new video or even the, like the intro or something. So, um, I think the ones that I have up now have been pre-recorded again. This one is February the 1st, not sure when it's going to come out, maybe March the 1st, who knows, but I do have, um, a lot of stuff um scheduled recorded and just 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 wait waiting for the dates to upload anyway ranting off um um yeah you guys again thanks for coming back and supporting the channel look hit that notification bell to keep you informed um for next week's 
um, plant plant wish list Wednesdays, and yeah, you guys, bye.